few moments, we'll be sending you out to Philadelphia as the 76ers go up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. This Cavaliers group has been getting things done. The results have been excellent for them over the first half of the season. And it has to be said, they're not showing any signs of slowing down anytime soon. In a league of giants, the NBA community loves to cheer for the little guy. One of the best ever. Yeah, yeah, Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> for sports is something that makes them so unique. Well, Smitty, we have a fantastic matchup between two of the top centers of the league right in front of us here. It's a throwback to an era of an earlier time when big men were dominant in this league. Yeah, and I remember those days when you, you just sat down you wanted to see Shaq versus Ewing, McKee versus David Robinson. Those were fun. Yes, as a guard, we had matchups. But you know, that was different. Those were the big man fans. I miss those days. I do too. So Cleveland will get the first possession. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, the two stars, LeBron and Love, make it up the forward positions. Wells is out there with Thomas. And it's Garbage Man in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Just find the shoot. That one's rebounded by Embiid. On defense, Cleveland coming into this having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. I just thought the defense was, was porous. Got any shot they wanted, really, for most of the evening. I'll give them credit. Even though they were facing very little resistance, they refused to play down to the level of their competition. Now, Wells, after Markel Fultz missed from long range, James kicks to love. Over Sharch. Not enough on that one as it misses. And here are the 76ers now. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Embiid the screen. Fultz the pass to Embiid. Lee Pass was put in just the right spot. Loving the unselfishness of Fultz. An expert at cutting the D apart here with that slick passing ability. Pass to Wells. From past the arc. No good that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Outside, Simmons. And stolen by LeBron. Goes up. And James throws it down hard. There you go. And there's no question that James is one of the best dunkers ever. A forceful finisher who loves showing off his athleticism. And the replay is courtesy of Under Armour. Unleash Chaos. That was a great sequence from the steal all the way to the finish at the other end. Levine, good. There's a chance he could go for a good game if they don't beat him up on the perimeter. The pass to Garbage Man. Kicks to Wells. 
And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And that's from beyond, guys, right back at you. This is looking more like an all-star game right now. Everyone launching from range. Screen by Sharch. Fultz kicks to MB. Got it. Good job in the low post. And defensively, this it's is still a hurt. nightmare. He's already on a roll. Well, obviously, this was a strategy coming in. Feed him the rock and let him go to work. Now, here's LeBron. He picked up 24 points in their last one against Houston. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. The 76ers lead. Fultz with the ball. Now, Thomas defending. Fultz kicks to Simmons. Here's Embiid. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Philadelphia shooting their first free throws here tonight. It's really the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. And Embiid drops them both. It's a luxury to have a big man who can shoot free throws this way. Now here's Thomas. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Houston. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist totals show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. Sinks the triple. When we talk about LeBron's amazing versatility, that time showing confidence from deep. Simmons on the wing. Pass to Embiid. And stolen by LeBron. Wells in the corner. And there's the foul, and it's on Garbage Man. That's foul number two for him. Already the second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious fouls. The 76ers leading by eight. On the floor for Cleveland getting going here in the second. Derrick Rose is out there with J.R. Smith. Then it's Jay Crowder, and it's Garbage Man, and it sees it, and it's sent. Okafor with a screen on Crowder. It's Anderson with the drive. He came off the screen and finished with the board. And it was the screen there, guys, that freed him up as he ran his man into it. And then it was all acceleration, G.A., to the bucket right after that. That was just a textbook pick that allowed him room, and he took advantage of it. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David. Crushed. Thanks, Kevin. Garbage man in the last game against the Rockets had a huge night. He scored 26 points and was his usual dominant self on the glass. His numbers were off the chart. He was unguardable, and he knew it, and took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. Great, David. Appreciate it. Well, he set the bar pretty high for himself with that performance. He did, I mean, but we know he's going to try to raise that bar again tonight. No matter how good he is, he's always thinking he can do better. It's going to be tough. I'm sure their entire defensive game plan is centered around how to stop him. They're going to be all over him. Here's Fultz after the main shot from Garbage Man. Holmes has a screen. Fultz kicks to Holmes. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Steve, they say the defense wins championships. Talk about the value of communication on the floor when it comes uh, to a team playing great team defense. I think, Kevin, for fans, especially young kids out there, watch, watch the great teams, the teams that are winning championships. They communicate the teams that are not winning. You can see on the bench, not a lot of the guys are talking. You don't see communication with players and coaches. The teams that win, they are constant chatter about making the right play and also criticizing each other, but constructive criticism. Did you learn that watching other teams that were great as they were at the top of their game and you guys were a developing team and you were a developing player? I think for me, at a young age, getting a chance to watch the Detroit Pistons, being from Detroit, being hanging around Joe Dumars, Isaiah Thomas, and obviously the late great Chuck Daly, they were in constant communication, and they won. So that helped me be able to develop my communication skills. Here's Isaac. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. That doesn't go either for Rose. And they continue to control the glass. 
Now, here's Fultz. G right on him. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials on the uh. shoot two. One thing that you've got to love about Markel Fultz is his versatility. I mean, he's got the size, the passing, and scoring ability to succeed at either guard position. He's, he's almost Westbrookish. And you ask the scouts about Fultz. He has the complete game. And you know, Kevin, he checks all the boxes. Athleticism, the size to play above the rim. And above all, I think the feel for the game is quite apparent when you watch him play. Now, here's Fultz following the miss by Derrick Rose. Fultz, no good. That's one of those where you think you've got it, you relax for just a second, and then you're kicking yourself. Ah, I got behind the backboard. I guess even he has just one of those once in a while. He set the pick. The feed to Anderson. He dishes it to Fultz. Hands it from downtown. Fultz has got five points. Now. I think we're going to lose this one. There he is. His first make from beyond the arc in the second quarter. His third of the game. And the Cavaliers call time here. Now the breakdown between three-point and two-point shots attempted here tonight for Cleveland. Liking the effectiveness they show here from three-point land. And I say, hey, shoot it more. They, they've been successful with a high field goal percentage. And we'll see if that continues to be a part of their arsenal. Now here's Rose. He has six. For three, Smith. Good on the triple. Smith's got six points. Working off the screen to perfection. JR carves out the space he needs. Yeah. Passes it to court mods. Screened by my own players. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Anderson. It's rebounded by Cleveland. This time they met in Cleveland. Yeah, and living well from beyond the arc helped them to keep control of that game. And defensively, guys weren't rotating fast enough or closing out hard enough to prevent it. No problems knocking that one down. Rose has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Cavs. Now, here's Fultz. He's covered by Rose. Fultz kicks to Anderson. There's a screen. It's stolen. And here's Rose. Nine points in the game so far. Garbage man, the pass to Zizic. Rose kicks to Kraut. Pass to Zizic. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Clock at four. Smith for three. Rebounded by Owens. Ah. Being aggressive, trying to turn around the team's fortunes, but he's having a hard time executing. And there's the pass to court mods. If the floater is not going to go for him, Smith with some nice deep. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Outside rows. It's good on the first you think? Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get so the I got back. double boxed out, allowed him to get Philadelphia's in. Philadelphia's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter. It's going horrible. And Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. And Steve, in your playing days, you always struck that balance, I always thought, between calling your own number and creating for teammates. That's, that's a real, that's a real gift. It is. And I think the value of playing winning basketball, Kevin, is Whatever play dictates making your teammates better or making the winning play. I think a lot of guys right now get caught up in stats. Whatever's the play to help your team win, that's the play that needs to be made. Well said. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Lures checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Ben Simmons comes in for Justin Anderson. And Zach Levine subbed in for Kirkmont. And the Cavaliers with possession here. 76ers getting the bucket. They set the pick. Here's Rose, and he makes the bucket through contact and gets the whistle, too. You know, he had a hot start to this game. He's only gotten hotter. We'll see if the defense makes an adjustment. James checked in for the Cavaliers. Rose has really accepted the responsibility of being the leader of this team. They look to him to deliver night after night. Over in the corner, Lure. 
Simmons dishes to Levine. Picked by Okafor. Puts one up. It's deflected. Okafor with the steal. Fultz with the ball. He picked up 33 points in their last one against Dallas. And then there was his passing. When he wasn't scoring on his own, he was making plays for his Gosh. teammates. And they just couldn't figure out how to defend him. Levine wide open. Another three for Philadelphia. Tough to challenge Levine out there. Big lip on his shot. And you must close out quicker on him. They set the screen. Here's Rose. They get it back. Garbage man. And how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback? You're right, Craig. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? Maybe. Just maybe. Colts gets to open for and that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. A moment here to see the numbers for seven. He's putting up about 12 points a game, seven rebounds, and five assists. And guys, he's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. And the numbers, they back it up. Whether he can sustain this level of production, we don't know. But the arrow's pointing upward right now. Here's Embiid, not a piece of it. Run outside. Down low. For three. Log. Rebound collected by Levine. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Out to the wing. Bell's wide open. Here's Garbage Man. Oh. Stolen by Levine. He kicks to Simmons. And that one goes. <laughs> A lot of turnovers this game. Levine. <laughs> this break gives us the chance to see which teams have been the most successful in the transition game this month. The Cavaliers, number one. I mean, they have really hit their stride in terms of that transition game. No doubt about it. They are playing at a great pace. Pass to Garbage Man. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. The facilitator, LeBron, sees the entire floor. If you're open... Got no, lucky there, Joel over in it. Outside, Simmons. Lure the screen. Simmons passes to Embiid. Now, here's Fultz. He's guarded closely. Up off the screen. And he lays it up and in. And I love the energy from Fultz, an incredibly crafty and creative score. LeBron against Simmons. Here's Wells. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Six points for Shammy Wells. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screen. Yeah, he could have made a better choice. He left him an easy one. Let's see how he plays the next three. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Guys, the league may have never seen a player with more control on and off the court than LeBron James. He is a superstar, a playmaker, a coach on the floor. Some say he's the GM. He even has a stake in a player agent business. LeBron says it's his dream to one day own an NBA team. Well, he's certainly getting some practice. Kevin? No question yeah, about it, David. On way back in this. On his way as important a player as we've ever seen in basketball. And here's Levine after the three-pointer from Shemmy Wells. And that's on the bounds going out to a whole chain possession. Sharks checked in for John Lewis. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Oh, I don't want to sit. Hey, got the lead. There we go. There we go. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway.
the second half just about to get going here. You know, Markel Fultz has been exceptional here, guys. And, and let's see what the defense counters with to try and control him here in the second half. Well, you like to run more doubles at him, but the risk there is opens up things for everybody else. you got Fultz, Joel Embiid out there with Dario Saric, then it's Zach Levine, and it's Simmons in at the three spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Now, here's Well. Following the miss shot by Dario Saric, Wells with it. Now guarded by Simmons. Wells dishes to LeBron. Love with the screen for James. Just five on the clock. Shot by Wells, no good. Yeah, you, you love the solid three, but what you hate is just the inability to finish. You can see he's frustrated with that one. Knows it's up to him to make that play. Now here's MB. The shot from the low post is good. Embiid's got the first basket of the third quarter for the 76ers. Passes it to Garbage Man. Feeds to James. Here is Garbage Man, guarded by Embiid, and it's in there. Garbage Man's got the lead up to eight now for the can. That's some tight SD. <laughs> for his attention, speed, to detail. You know, he's had skills, but I think that's how he's made it because he is one of those guys that's particular about the detail. He has a mind for the game and a ah, passion. continues to separate him now. As that works. <laughs> he's really stood out for them over the past month. 12th in free throw percentage, 16th in assists, and he's among the top 20 players in three-point field goal percentage. He has been locked and loaded from beyond. And he deserves credit for knocking down such a high percentage of his free throws. It's not a glamour part of the game, but incredibly important nonetheless. No good from garbage man. Mm. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. Now here's LeBron. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. Here is Garbage Man, guarded by Embiid. He gives them a double-digit lead. And that's now 10 points for Garbage Man. That's all confidence right there. He knows he's in a groove, and they've got this team on his field. Joel now. Charge kicks to Simmons. Goes up to the strike. There's Embiid. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. And, and the second chance points aren't easy to come back. It's all about effort and hard work. And he has today made it look easy. That's a carryover from the way he played in their last game. All out energy plays on his way to a huge performance. He's just one of those guys who just knows how to generate offense regardless of the situation. Love with the screen for Thomas. He feeds it to Love. Over Sharich. Makes a big high house and goes in. And it's seven points for Kevin Love. Able to score on all three levels, inside, outside, mid-range. Kevin Love, one of the most versatile offensive threats in this league. Now, here's Fultz. He's got 16. Levine for three. Rebound by Garbage Man. Garbage Man's got one. nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Thomas kicks to LeBron. Love with the screen on Simmons. There's the screen. Wells passes to James. Love dishes to Well. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. It's Thomas outside. Nailed from three-point land. And it's an 11-point Cavalier lead. Yeah, you, you see the killer instinct. He's going to step up. True story. They've got a monster lead that's taking a life of his own. And Philadelphia calls time here. Well, the NBA we know has incredible competition. And more times than not, it's more serious than anything else. And they're so locked in. But, Steve, right, there are, there are moments of levity that everybody uh, can kind of laugh at, correct? Yeah, it is. I mean, I think the one thing is having a team that go to that free throw line, shooting 
the air ball and him glancing over at the bench and you know nobody wants to laugh at times but depending on the game you just bust out laughing and then he goes up there and shoots it really hard to make sure he doesn't have an air ball and then the one when you're passing the basketball and the teammate is not looking and you catch it right in the top that's the one everybody laughs about the most how about you personally any moment that either you were laughing or people were laughing at something that happened to you on the floor you know i had this one we call it a flat tire Kevin. i was laying I threw it out and I couldn't stop. And my legs wobbled. I fell. I caught it. Went out of bounds. That's the one I think for me was the funniest. It just wasn't wow. funny when it happened. The Cavaliers shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And they shot the ball well this season in, in, in terms of their attempts. 81 percent. John Lure, he's checked in for MB. Ah. Oh. From garbage man. The 76ers trail by 11. Outside, Simmons. Lure the screen. Off the pick. The shot that time, not on target. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Wells kicks to Crump. Outside, Rose. a chance for one more at the free throw line. Each possession, more confidence from Derrick Rose. He wants the basketball to start to knock him down. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. The dish to lure. at the vaults. Holmes has a screen. And is good in the Cavaliers really cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Fultz. He's done his job tonight scoring the basketball, but they've still been outplayed overall. There's a screen. Crowder against Simmons. Up on the block again, the Cavaliers score for Philadelphia. They've gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. From deep, and he's good on the three ball. On the Simmons got his first three points of the game, and all Simmons needs is a little bit of space. He's dynamite off the pass. Close in the post, and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Levine and the 76ers tack on two more. Come on, guys. Why do we keep falling apart? Outside Rose to the inside. Garbage man, the pass to Trump. Yeah! <laughs> That's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. That's about as, as violent as a rim rocker as it gets. A real confidence builder. Go, Jay. Throw good crowded timeout call the 76ers. Well, not doing much point wise, but needs to regain focus. Helping offensively. Offensively, way too many turnovers and looking frustrated. They need to get back to their pace, their brand of basketball. A moment here to see some numbers for Garbage Man. Just an incredible month of basketball. He's averaging 30 points. And what sets him apart Not this is his game. rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. You know what? It's part effort, part instinct. You see teams trying to keep a body or two on him. But that's easier said than done. Now, here's Fultz. He's got 20. Levine for three. Again, Levine missing. The Cavaliers leading by 12, and the wide-open shot from Crowder. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. And that's 15 points for Jay Crowder. Philadelphia's gone 1-3 from downtown since halftime. 
Colts with the ball. Working on Rose, and the bucket counts. Three point chance here. You gotta love how Fultz uses his strength on these tough finishes, elevating up and over the defense and just finishing. Keep seeing that Philadelphia circle. I'm thinking it's my. Working extra hard in the offseason when they're approaching free agency, or how much truth is there to the idea, uh, Steve, of a player doing more? Ah, that's past the rows. Trying hard. I guess it you're worked. Here. I mean, you're here, teammates. You're here, guys, um, competitors. You're here, us, analysts, saying. You know when there's a contract here for a lot of guys, and you look at a guy putting in a little bit more effort. I think the guy that you respect the most is when they play the same way all the time, whether it's a contract here or the first year. A lot of guys do ramp it up and make more shots when there's a contract here. Yeah, but, but that's human nature, don't you think? I mean, if you know there's a prize at the end, how do you work if there's a big test at the end of the week? What? You study harder. I, mean, I would just think that's just human nature. That's some bullshit. I didn't touch him. And the 76ers making a change here. Hoka first checked in. No good on the second free throw. I mean, thinking back to where Levine was drafted, 13th overall, raised some eyebrows, but it was all about upside. Oh, great ball movement there. The 76ers trail by 18. Hoka four with the screen on ropes. 13 feet away. That's short off the rim. Cleveland's gone 4 of 6 from three point land since the start of the second half. Three pointer, Crowder, yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Crowder's got 17 points here in the second half. Now, Fultz, he's got 22. Lure dishes to Levine. T from Garbage Man. You know, a little off his game this quarter. Still trying to find a rhythm, though. Over in the corner, Rose. Another three for Cleveland. Another triple. And that's been the story of this second half. Coming out of the break, they relied on their perimeter offense to generate points. Right now, it's working. Picked by Okafor. And Simmons kicks to Fultz. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. Phenomenal how many threes he drained in the first half, especially considering he's hit none since. They set the pick. The pass to Garbage Man. Down to five on the shot clock. And he goes in for the dunk. And when you're on the road, this is how you silence the crowd. Tremendous all-around play. It's led to a big lead. Credit the leadership on this team. They've kept everyone focused on what matters. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Some changes for Philadelphia. Anderson comes in for Ben Simmons. And it's Quirkmaz in for Fultz. Wells, he's checked in for Cleveland. Thomas comes in for Derrick Rose. The Cavaliers leading by 23. Thomas kicks to Crowder. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And when you look at Jay Crowder, he kind of bridges that gap between role player slash star player. The numbers might not wow you, but his tough play at both ends of the court is extremely valuable. And Greg, wouldn't you agree, Crowder clearly one of the best in the NBA in defending? Without question. I mean, this guy guards three positions every night. And the combination of strength, quick feet, and then the quick hands make him a problem. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Charge comes in for Justin Anderson, and it's Fultz in for Corkmans. Here's Wells. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And 11 points for Shammy Wells. You got to admire the inside game of Wells. Terrific at getting room to get that one off. Levine with it, picked up by Thompson. Thomas with the steal. To the paint. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Thompson's got his second basket of the night. Philadelphia's gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Bolts the pass to Levine. Lure the screen. 
Away. Go, baby, go. And here we go. Oh, Dishes it to well. Another three for Cleveland. They've given up a lot of three pointers here today. They're not having much success at all right now. Kevin, I would shuffle the lineup a bit if I were their coach a little bit just to try to find something that works. Now, here's Lure. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's Fultz. The shot will not fall. Great tee that time from Garbage Man. Out of this is to Well. The screen from Thompson. Mills kicks to Kraut. Over Shorich. No good. Ah. Buzzer beater. So I don't think I would have got the shot off. Making things happen for Cleveland. He nailed it from long range in that quarter. Winds up with a total of four three quarters in the period. We'll get right back to the action. Yeah, yeah. When we return. <laughs> that was only half hour. All right into the fourth quarter. I just sat a lot though. You never know. Here is Thomas. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Thomas and Corver, the guard channel. Thompson is out there with Smith. And it's Garbage Man in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's Smith. And he throws it down hard with one hand. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board and the you know break that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff too. My goodness. Now here's Randall. Bayless the pass to Okafor. Pulls up on the wing. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Garbage man's got 15 rebounds here tonight. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Thomas with the ball. Bayless covering. Thompson sets the pick for Thomas. Terrific design on the pick clock. He lays it in. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And Bayless kicks to Okafer. And with the new TBDLs, we've seen player salaries and caps uh, certainly skyrocketing. What does that uh, do in affecting relationships among the players, between the players, uh, you know, within a team? You know, I think, Kevin, when um, guys are happy, obviously, with their salaries, they play better. But I think also they can affect sometimes, let's talk about it team-wise. You have a guy that's not a, playing at the level that you thought he would be playing. Because of the numbers, it's going to be harder and harder to move some of those guys. Then you have a guy that's playing better than a guy that's making a lot of money. He's going to expect that some of these teams are not going to be able to play. So you're going to see a lot of movement. And I'm back in our day, Kevin, my day, you didn't see that much movement. Because of these skyrocketing salaries, I think now it's going to be more and more movement. And you know, Steve, with the new deal sign between players and the league, it'll be, I think, easier for teams that have drafted and developed a player now to keep that player and not lose them to more money to another team. You're totally right. I think guys get drafted and they can play. They will definitely be there for years and years because they can make the most money with their teams respectively. Yeah, that's a, one of his specialties, just squaring up from medium range. Yeah, he has the height to shoot over most any defender and the touch to make it with consistency. Thomas, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the defense. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. Zizic is checked in for Thompson. And the free throw, no good. And just so frustrating for a team when you collectively go cold at the line. And that's happened to them here in the second half. There's the pick. Thomas kicks to Smith. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. Thomas got four assists in the game. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting a pretty good result. Now here's Okafor. Oh, here's Randall. Okafor with a screen on Corver. 
the Wahoo, the pass to Embiid. Five on the clock. And oh boy, a lot of oh, I... here, but he gets the call. As you see, Zick. <laughs> and the new CBA hammered out uh, Smitty last season between the league and the players. It really seemed to get done. Adam Silver, a terrific job. Just Paul leading the players' side. They got together early and seemed to be much more cordial in their negotiations. I think that's a wonderful sign. I think the game is in good hands right now, and I was happy from, like you said, from the league side and the players' union side. You said it best, Kevin. They got together early, and that's why I think it was seamless. And the game right now is going so well, and they didn't mess it up, and I'm happy about it. And you know what? I'll even go on. I'll take it one step further. I don't know if there's a professional league in the world uh, right now that is in better shape in almost every aspect than the NBA. I, what do you think? I totally agree, Kevin. Right now, we have a magical time right now in the NBA. Things are running well on the court and off the court. Here's MB. Cavaliers making the shot. That's it. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Pass to Garbage Man. In the corner, Smith with it. Pass to Zizic. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Thomas a screen. Here's Zizic, guarded by Holmes. That one goes in. Let's see. Zizic has got four this quarter. And what a half for this offense. If they can stay this high, a great chance to extend this lead. Here's Embiid. Embiid. I shut me off. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets always the result of that extra effort. Passes to Garbage Man. Plays it up and makes it in. Garbage Man's got 12 points in just the second half. And really the story of the half, one team shooting it lights out, the other, the lights are just out. You know what is two competing philosophies? One team playing it close to the best, the other fast and loose. Smith outside, stolen by Beavis. Randall against Thomas, out to the right wing. Here's Embiid, it's blocked, but they get it back. Randall dishes the bait. And they call over the back here. Too much content. Yeah, a little too physical on that play. Tries to climb Six over blocks. the top of him and gets whistled for it. A real easy call. I know you want to attack the glass, generate second chance opportunities, but you also have to pick your spot. Anderson, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Gorkmas comes in for Luwabu Cabarro. Here's Rose. Good for best number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just Why keep trying to back me down. Physical basketball, guys. Now here's MB. MB sets the pick for Anderson. He's ah. One free throw coming up. And just showing you his determination despite the size difference. And he makes the little adjustment just as he goes to lay it in. That one misses for Anderson. Well, every so often a team will have a home game and see their stadium flooded with fans for the away Oh, team. come on! Especially good, popular team is playing a team kind of uh, in, in, a, in a bad part of their schedule or maybe just in a, in a bad part of their development. So many do players notice when this happens? And does it bother them at all? Yeah, players notice it. It does bother you. It happened to me when in the Chicago Bulls era. You're here, people cheering more for Michael Jordan than their own players. It's because people love to see winners. People have their favorite players, and a lot of people right now look at it as they want to come see their favorite player. As a player, you just got to go out, beat Michael Jordan, go out and win, and use the fans to turn into your favorite. Now, here's Anderson, following the miss by Derrick Rose. Let's it go from 11. That one off the back iron and out. The Cavaliers have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth, 8 of 12. Come on, guys. Here's Korkmaz, in out of bounds. The Cavaliers will take it. So it's the Cavaliers now. 
Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. Here is Garbage Man, guarded by Embiid. No good from Garbage Man. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. Now here's Rose. Well, the NBA has taken great strides to ensure a competitive balance, Steve, over the past decades, but they have a long way to go to achieve complete parity. I don't know that it can it can ever be done. How do you feel about the current competitive balance of the league right now? You know, I think it's good, but Kevin, you're totally right. You can't get complete parity. You're going to have injuries, and I think when you have injuries, it changes the whole dynamic of these teams. So, so far, so good for me. I think it's a lot of balance. Good teams are good for a while, and then it always shifts and changes. I think we're in good hands right now. Now here's Rose. Out to Smith. Six on the shot clock. Off the screen. Almost, but it rolls out. Well, just think what's happening here. He hasn't found his groove, yet they still hold the lead. Anderson can't get that one to fall. Cleveland's gone two for two. And I had that rebound too. The fourth quarter. I jumped too quick. And here's Rose, the pass to Garbage Man. Who's back up? It's oh, come on! Philadelphia's gone over three so far in the fourth quarter from long range. From 12 feet out, Bayless's shot is off. The Cavaliers shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. Rose gets to Smith. Cleveland moving the ball around. Zizic passes to Garbage Man. Five to shoot. Out to Smith. Over Anderson. And the shot is lost. I just don't trust Plus myself shooting anymore. From the floor. The feed to Bates. Holmes, that's a screen. Trying to get back on track. It's deflected, and we're able to recover. And he makes that one. And it's now 23 points for Joel and B. Cleveland with the ball. I would struggle against Joel. Right side, Rose. On the last half decade or so, the NBA, Steve, has realized the true value of the corner three, and now offenses all over the league are designed to take advantage of it. Part of that is because to the rim than any other three-pointer. Yeah, you're right, and, and you should. I mean, when you have a three-point arc, yes, the corner threes... Why don't I always struggle against Joel and Bede? ...from a guy to shoot from straight on, but when you have a guy that can shoot it straight on, you can see the dynamics of a team defensively. It's hard to cover. But I don't think the team, the NBA, should widen the court because of the value of the corner three. That's a part of the game. Should the lane be wide? Should we talk about the court and making all the threes the same length? What about the lane? Well, I think you can widen the lane if you change the defense of rules, because right now you're allowed to play zone. If you went back to man-to-man, -to -man, yes, I think you should widen it. But when teams are allowed to play zone, I think the value of keeping it the same helps the defense a little bit more. Again, the Cavaliers score. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Cavaliers. What do you think was the deciding factor in this one? I think you have to look at their field goal percentage. They just shot the ball much better than the opponent, and, and they were getting great looks all game long. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And this will be their third win in three tries against these guys. They match up so well. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance. It was a big time outing for Garbage Man. And with the way he came Say out, so. energized. But I did have a lot of assists and a lot of blocks. So. And on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. Now here's Bayless following the miss by Derek Rose. Bayless with it. Master court pause. He dishes it to Embiid. Stolen by Rose. 
And now the Cavaliers. Pass break. Garbage man, the pass to Zizic. Now Rose.